Okay, folks. Uh, another solo review. Um, it's coffee beer, hence why Mike's not here. Um, I could die after this. Not sure. Um, not really sure what I'm going to do with both of these beers. Um, hopefully, hopefully, Carrie likes it. So I've had a bottle of Tweak, which is what this is. So sorry. This is Avery's Tweak. Um, so Avery, they're out of uh, Colorado, I believe. How am I? How do I not know that? Yeah, Boulder. Duh. Um, so this is their Stout with Coffee added. Asian bourbon barrels. This is the January 26th, 25th, 2016, which I've had in my cellar for forever now. And I keep going, oh, I'm going to drink it. 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 Then a beer to a Palooza, Stephen kindly gave us a box of beer and included a, and I'm pretty sure <laughs> this one's the one I had. Either way, it doesn't matter. He then included a uh, one that was bottled on October 27th, 2017. So um, close to two years, uh, shy of a couple months. Um, difference and i was like all right this is a sign i've got to do this um so 17 and a half percent for the 2016 16 percent for this they've both been in my stout fridge um and yeah i'm gonna do the 2016 first i got treehouse taster glass and then i got a little taster speak speak aloud glass all right so and for the can art it's just is there anything on the side of the thing uh Cartoon, cat, character development. Let's just get into it. Oh, that pour is a little browner than I expected. Interesting. All right, actually, you know what? I'll pour both. Um, all right, so I guess i got to remember. 16 is Treehouse. 17 is Spiegelauglage. Oh, they both pour pretty brown. All right, I poured right down the middle, so and still the head was kind of... But th these are boozy beers, right? So these are boozy beers. So Avery makes really great battle, uh, battle, <laughs> barrel age. It's a battle, I guess. It's a, it's a battle. Um, Color-wise, the 16 looks thinner, but not. It's always awkward doing these solo because I'm not sure where to go. Um, they look pitch black, but they're definitely definitely mahogany brown. Um, more red you underneath this one, but it has like a little bit more of a divot, so I think that's why I can see it better. Um, but yeah, it's mahogany brown. It's not pitch black. Um, but yeah, let's get a nose. Producer Sean here. Just uh, make sure those are lined up. Am I not on frame? Am I going? I'm gonna do something while this is going. I may edit this out. So, I'm always so like, I'm always afraid it's not gonna focus, but I can't really tell. Eh, what it is what it is. Um, yeah, there's a good amount of coffee. There's a touch of green pepper. It's got a chocolatey sweetness too. A little bit of like, more like baker's cocoa maybe. This smells substantially different. This smells like stone fruits, plums, raisins, a little bit of oxidation, um, cherry, like dark chocolate cherry, like those cherry cordials. Wow. All right. I'm going to go for the 16 first. Cheers. Seventeen percent. Okay, so there's this lovely roastiness going on with this. Green pepper on the nose, the, the slight green pepper not coming through at all. Um, 
loads of coffee as I'm talking. Like it's the roasting has started and it's just amplifying as I'm talking and kind of like smacking my tongue. Um, really nice, really heavy roastiness. Uh, I can feel the heat going down my going going down my chest and as it hits my tummy. Um, Barrel comes through on the sides. It's got this, um, it's got this oakiness, but also has this lovely um, sort of caramel, y molassesy um, kind of bourbon note, kind of kind of going through. It's actually really pleasant. Um, little thin, um, but given the way it poured, I guess I'm not. I shouldn't be surprised. Uh, but yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. That's really, I'm going to get it some water. I'm yeah, very happy with that. All right. God, I love this glass. I love the treehouse glass, too, but this glass is just so elegant. Um, all right, cheers. Thanks, Stephen. It's crazy. So this is 16%. It says batch number four. This is batch number two. Um, wow. Um, totally different. So all the fruit, the stone fruits and stuff like that on the nose, all up there on the palate. Um, the kiss of oxidation that I mentioned in the nose is a little bit there, but it's not. It's not. It's not ruining the beer whatsoever. This both of these beers are really fucking good. Um, but this, yeah, it's got the more stone fruits, plum, raisins, um, uh, dates, maybe. Everything, the roast though. I wouldn't. I don't know if this would. If I would tell this out of coffee, there's no green pepper in it. As I'm talking, I'm just getting this lovely um, figgy uh, like sweetness. And it's it same kind of palate, it, not palate burning, uh, burning down the chest. So it is, you can tell it, it's warming. Um, barrels, the oakiness is probably more pronounced in this. <sighs> Man, I pick a winner. Whichever one you have, right? Like this, okay. This drink's more stouty. Actually, it's interesting. After having that, I now get a little green pepper. This is just, this drinks, I keep looking at the beer to make sure I'm not messing this up. It is a stout. This drinks more like if you blended, blended a stout and like a strong ale. There's a little bit of the roast, but I'm wondering if I'm getting it from that. I just took a sip. But if that's the case, there's only one more thing to do, folks. Um, we got about, it's about the same. I'm going to dump it into the, just give it a little. Mixy mix. There's a piece uh, I want to get on the table. Yep. All right. Same color, right? The nose is more muted. It's interesting. Um, is the cuvee is the cuvee better? Um, nine times out of ten, usually is. One times out of ten, it's not. I think that's that time. I think this is that time. Um, it's good. It works well, but I don't think it's better than them individually. Um, the 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 fruity, like the stone fruity character kind of plays well with, with the roastiness from this. Um, and kind of makes you, it's kind of more of what's on the bottle, I think, right? You're getting, um, like that nice stouty 
fruity characteristics with the roastiness of the coffee in the barrel mixed together. Now that I'm saying it, I'm like, do I like it better? And as I'm talking too, I'm getting this like smokiness, which is interesting. I didn't get on either of them before. Uh, excuse me. Uh, yeah, this is, is this better? No, no, no. I, I think I, no, I definitely prefer them separate. I think I'm going to go upstairs and give Carrie these. Plus, she's not going to matter if they're blind or not. She won't care. She probably won't, she probably won't like either of them. Um, yeah, Steven, dude, thank you again for, uh, for, for tossing this in the box. This, 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 this pushed me to, uh, finally, finally open my bottle. I'm really, really glad I did it this way because it's, it's, absolutely bonkers how different these beers are. Um, I need to find a, a fresh batch of this uh, and pick it up. I haven't had it in a couple of years. But um, thanks, everybody, for watching. Down in the comments, if you had Tweak recently, have you had Tweak Age? What's your kind of sweet spot? If you had either of these together or side by side, um, I guess there was there must have been, if this is batch two and this is batch four, there must be a uh, right in the middle. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments. Avery, their, their barrel program is, is awesome. Um, Uncle Jacob Stout is one of my favorite uh, barrel-aged stouts, uh, which I haven't had in a while. Um, but I'm definitely going to go pick out uh, more, more tweaks because I'm really interested to see like where it's come and how it's come along. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to check out nerdsense.net. From there, you can get to all of our social media. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit those notification bells so you can find me posting new videos. And I'm Sean. This is NerdSense. Cheers, everyone. Cheers.